There were only two things that could get George to take a bath. Bubbles and Sproingy. The most awe-inspiring toy frog that ever lived and the best bubble maker George ever met. A bath just wouldn't be a bath without them. this belongs to. Oh, George! I found your lost boat. <laughs> In the freezer. You know, George, if you were a little more careful with your toys, you wouldn't lose so many of them. You almost ready to go to the park? <laughs> hey, aren't you glad we found your boat, George? G George? Sharky yeah. wanted to play in the mud, too. <laughs> Hey, George, what do you say we go home and grab some lunch? <laughs> Maybe you should try and clean up a little bit before we go. <laughs> we could be here all day doing this. You can clean up at home, George. <laughs> Okay, George, lunch is ready. George, you have to get cleaned up before you can eat. Just take a quick bath. I'll wait. <sighs> there were only two things that could get George to take a bath. Bubbles and... And... Springy the Frog. George wondered where he could be. George? George, what is taking so long? <laughs> you can clean your room later, after you clean yourself, and after we eat lunch. in. Oh, I get it. You want to be launched like a new ship, huh? All right, here we go. Into the sea. Oh. <laughs> You're tickling me. Look, I know you took a bath already this morning, but you're muddy, George. <laughs> hey, look at all the fun bubbles. See? There was no way George could take a bath without Sproingy, who had to be around here somewhere. George? Oh. And there was no way George was going to admit he lost another toy. <laughs> who had to be here somewhere. <laughs> George! George, aren't you going to take a bath? Are you going to take a bath tonight? You don't know? Tomorrow? Ever? 
Oh, well, I can't have a muddy monkey messing up the apartment. <laughs> okay, George, forget about giving yourself a bath. How about we give your truck a bath? Huh? You don't mind if I wash my car while you wash your truck, do you? George loved making bubbles anywhere. He didn't need a tub. A bucket of water and a little soap worked too. They were so light and shining and filled with air. But making bubbles reminded him of Springy. <laughs> there, all clean. Good job. guys. Oh, you're looking good, George. Hmm. Well, at least the right half of you is. <laughs> I guess someone's due for half a bath. I wish, but George won't take a bath anymore. I don't get it. Maybe George feels he's getting too old for a bath. Of course, that's it. My little monkey is growing up. Now I know exactly what to do. Come on, George, we're going in. Oh, thanks, Professor Wiseman. You're a genius. Well, yeah. I understand your problem with baths now, George. <laughs> and I agree, it's time for you to start taking showers. <laughs> Turn on the water, George, and see what happens. Oh. George. George. Okay. Won't take baths, won't take showers. I need to take a walk and not think about any problems for a while. But sometimes, not thinking about something is harder than you think. Bubbles. Maybe, somehow, Springy was nearby. <laughs> Hi, Betsy. Hi, Steve. Hello. Betsy made pretty good bubbles, but she was no plastic frog. Hey, George, we're washing dogs to make money. Want to help? Uh-huh. Yeah, George, why don't you help? There's soap and water and bubbles and soap. <laughs> Great. George can help me make bubbles to attract dirty customers. George figured the triangle bubble maker was broken. But a square bubble would be just as good. <laughs> they fooled me the first time I tried them, too. It doesn't matter what shape bubble maker you use, they'll always turn out round. All this bubble making made George miss Springy even more. Sharky, you're more mud than dog. Hey, George, would you help me? Could you wash Sharky's ball? Don't be shy about getting some of that clean water on yourself. <laughs> of course, the park. 
the mud. <gasps> Sharky! <laughs> no, oh, no, 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 you're getting dirtier. <laughs> George, slow down. I... Okay, I'll meet you back home. Oh. Wow. You beat me home. Uh, why were we racing? George, you're taking a bath? Okay then, enjoy. I, um, wow. I wonder what that was all about. A bath just wouldn't be a bath without bubbles and sprungy. Here was all this fresh snow just itching to be played with, but it was too deep for George. Hey, George! <laughs> <laughs> Guess a city kid wouldn't have seen cross-country skis before. It's the most fun way to travel on deep snow. I've got an old pair of skis you can have. Want to come with me? <laughs> This was fun. George took to skiing like, like a monkey to skiing. Think you can handle that big hill? <laughs> With skis on, George could go anywhere there was snow. <laughs> or so he thought. Attack a steep hill straight on like that, George. You got it. Zigzag it. When you stop, angle your skis like this so you don't slide back down. Yeah, that's it. George, that's the way to do it. George had a great view up here. He could see houses and farms. <laughs> and there was his house. And then he thought he'd better head home right now because the man was making the last of the cocoa. And no one can resist the drink me now power of cocoa. Not even the man with the yellow hat. I wonder what that could be. Uh, I'm gonna go take a quick look around. You wait here. <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't good. He was getting even further from home. it was all downhill from here. He figured he'd be home in seconds. <laughs> there had to be a way to get that ski. One ski was better than none. That was awesome! 
There was no way George could walk home in deep snow without skis. I think he likes our snowshoes. I think he wants to borrow our snowshoes to get to that house. He probably lives there. I'll give him mine. Then how do you get home? You can't walk on the snow without them. Let's pull him home on our sled. Can't. We're already late and Mom's gonna get worried. We can't just leave him here. How about we get ourselves home first and then we'll give the monkey your snowshoes. We live on the other side of the hill. Climb aboard. There's that weird noise again. It's probably kids like us riding sleds a hill or two away. On your marks. Get set. Why didn't we give the monkey the snowshoes on top of the hill? Now he has to walk all the way back up. I can't think of everything, and a better time to bring that up would have been on top of the hill. Sorry, monkey. George didn't realize how cold and tired he was till he tried to climb that same hill one more time. <laughs> About the only thing that kept him going was the joyous hope of Coco. <laughs> now George could see what made that sound, a cold lost pig. George was almost at the top. The pig was way over there. He didn't even know if he could help. We can't just leave him here. George wondered how a pig got lost all the way up here, and more importantly, how he was going to get it down. What they needed was a sled. that squeal anywhere. It's little Mike. <laughs> he got out last night before it snowed. He's never even seen snow before. Must have been completely mystified by it. Thank you, George. I was wondering what took you so long. There's a cup of cocoa inside waiting for you. Oh, yeah! Well, see you later. Okay, take care. Skiing, sledding, bringing a pig home, then cocoa? 
this was a perfect day to be a monkey.